Okay, so I just want to talk about ways that you can declutter and organize your My UI to make your life a little bit easier. Uh, and in this particular installment, I just want to talk about shelves. So the Maya shelves for newcomers often become uh, where they think all the tools come from, but really it's just a customizable space uh, that you can put tools on that you want to access a lot. And if you've been using Maya for a little bit, you know you start putting things up there, putting things up there, and you might end up with something that kind of looks like this with a whole bunch of different tools all on the same shelf. And I've even seen, seen some people who will promote doing this and you have tons of buttons up there um, to the point where you will, you know, make your shelf layout bigger or taller, I should say, so that you can accompany, uh, uh, accommodate all those extra um, shelf buttons. And to me, I find this distracting and sort of just a big clutter. Um, it takes up more screen space. If you change the width of your Maya session at all, it's sort of a mess. Um, things move around. So if you had any sort of uh, muscle memory, you're gonna lose it because the minute you do that, tools get moved around. Um, so I don't really recommend it. Um, instead, what I do, hold on, let me get this back to normal size. There we go. I uh, just had to refresh it. Um, so you notice that I normally don't show my shelf tabs. Um, the reason for that is, again, screen space. And once I set this up, what I'm going to show you with marking menus, I don't really need to ever see those tabs anyway. So you know you can go up here and, you know, choose specific shelves. Um, and what I try and do is organize my shelves with just a little bit of tools that I need and not overwhelm uh, each shelf. So I'll have... You know, my development shelf is actually one of my biggest shelves right now because it has a lot in development. Um, but like my rigging shelf, or I have this shelf which is a connect rig. It's got only a few things. I have a connect, a different connect rig which is only a few things. Um, I have a panel shelf with just the panels. Um, another rigging shelf with just a few items. Um, and a rigging shelf. So rather than having one giant shelf, I have a whole bunch of shelves. But then I need to go through those. Uh, and I'm not going to do it this way. I've already done it once or twice uh, during this video to show you, but I actually create a marking menu so I can jump between it. So I can jump to my sculpting shelf. I can jump to my pose shelf. I can jump to my development shelf as I'm working. Um, it's really easy to set up. And I think it's a much faster and better way to organize and utilize those shelves. Um, so what I do is I go into the marking menu editor under Windows, Setting Preferences, Marking Menu Editor. And I just created a new marking menu. Uh, if you haven't done it before, it's very easy to sit, create a marking menu, um, give it a name, and then you can start putting things into that shelf, right? I'm gonna delete that because I don't want it. Um, but in this case, I'm gonna write a little bit of code in there. So let me open that up and I'd start putting that code in. Okay, but I, what I'll do is I'll show you my quick shelves I've already created. And it's the, uh, oops, I should have left that open. All right, it's the cooking show style. All right, so the commands that I want in particular, um, I do have what's a shelf next, which would just jump to the next shelf, and a shelf previous, which would jump back. And that's a really easy command. It's just this incremented, increment selected shelf, and then uh, you give it an integer. And where I got that from, was just under echo all commands, and you can do navigate shelves, and you can say previous shelf and next shelf. And it'll just, you can see it just has numbers in there, right? So you could actually say like, jump four shelves if you wanted to, jump back four. I don't know why you'd ever do that, but you can. They just made it very uh, flexible, I guess you could say. Um, so let me kill the echo all commands. So that's what these two buttons are. And then for the other ones, I just use what's the jump to shelf here. So the thing that's tricky about this is you have to get the name. So if you mess up a name, it's not going to do anything and it closes the UI and you just get frustrated. Um, so the thing is, once you figure out what the name is, so let's say I want to go to my mass shelf, what's cool is there's a command called jump to name shelf. And you can see I've already used it once. So now I can go in here and like say dev, because I created a dev shelf, it's going to jump to that dev shelf. Um, let's say we want a sculpting version of this. We can say sculpting. Come on. There we go it's gonna to jump to my sculpting shelf. And what I can do, let's go back to that marking menu, we'll go to our blah here. 
and I can just take my dev, throw it up there. I can take the sculpting, throw it over there. And you'll notice when you drop it in, it has no label, so you just want to fix that. So right click, edit menu item, I'm going to type in sculpt. Ding. Save it. Uh, this one was dev. Save it. Cool. And I can test that. I can say go to dev, go to sculpting. Cool. So now I can just start populating that to get what I want and then save it. And the last thing I'm going to do is just to make sure it's set to where I want it to be in the hot products. So since I've already got one developed here, um, you know, by default, it's set to no set. If you look at this, it's not set to no set. I'm going to choose hotbox. I'm going to choose where in the hotbox, right? It says north, south, east, west, or <laughs> north, south, east, west. And then I'll choose which mouse button to use. Um, so for mine, I like to have it in the southern region. And the reason for that is because, you know, I don't really don't use this that often. Um, so instead, I just have it set. So I have my sculpting, my, my quick shelf sit here so I can jump around in those shells without even thinking about it. And then you just hit apply, close, and you're good to go. Um, so yeah, I think, uh, you know, let me know what you think of this idea. I've been using it for, oh man, it's got to be going on like 10 years. And, you know, I, I never show the shelf tabs and I just create new shelves ago. I just created, um, you know, each one for a custom studio when I'm at, when I'm at that studio and they have shelf tools that are custom to them that automatically get loaded. I'll just quickly make shelf buttons for that so I can just quickly go into those shelves um, and get what I want. I find it much less cluttered, uh, much faster to access those buttons um, and it makes my life a little bit happier. All right, so let me know what you think and if you have any questions, let me know.